Ron Davis är ju en av de mest välkända forskarna inom MECFS-området och han har ju en forskargrupp som han arbetar tillsammans med borta i Stanford i Kalifornien i USA. Och som han ju beskriver dem är precis som alla vi andra drabbade också av corona så det påverkar ju tyvärr deras verksamhet en hel del. Han har gjort mycket arbeten just kring biokemin, kring genetiken vid både ME och andra sjukdomar. Och på senare tid har han ju koncentrerat sig mer och mer på ME bland annat därför att han har ju då sjukdom i familjen med en son som han ju har berättat öppen om som har väldigt svåra symptom och är kraftigt påverkad. Han har gjort många spännande fynd kring frågan som ju är väldigt vanlig, det vill säga är det här en infektion i själva verket som pågår? Han har ju gjort studier och inte hittat tecken till någon säker pågående infektion till exempel. Han har också jobbat med diagnostiska metoder och han kommer att berätta lite närmare om en av de tekniker som är mest lovande, nämligen mäta i blod, det blodets förmåga att svara på ökade energibehov i form av en stimulering och mätning av elektrisk impedans. Så det är en teknik. Han kommer också att berätta lite grann om de terapeutiska metoder som är på gång och Bland annat om ett läkemedel som också finns i Sverige som kallas för Abilify och har normalt sett hittills använts vid skizofrenier men i väldigt låga doser har ju den, det läkemedlet uppmärksammats och har ju visat sig att hos enskilda patienter kan det ge en ordentlig förbättring och nu pågår där också en, en studie för att verifiera de effekterna. Och med den bakgrunden tänkte jag då att vi kan spela upp Ron Davis presentation. Good morning. I'm Ron Davis. I'm bringing us to you from California. What I'd like to just give you a brief summary of where we are. It's been really difficult with the pandemic. Uh, a lot of work has to be done remotely or do a lot of writing. But what, what our program is, is, is to either, well, is to develop a diagnostic That's a molecular diagnostic that can be very useful for diagnosing patients. We also want to work on a treatment for patients. And, and those can be treatments of, of different types. And of course, there are a lot of people trying out different treatments. But we would also try to figure out a cure. And we think a cure is possible because there are patients who get over this even after a long illness and are here to be totally normal. So for our diagnostic, we're using an electronic device. It measures the electrical impedance of white cells. Uh, it's a very small device. It's called a nanonatle. Uh, there are many little nanonatles that are distributed along the trough uh, with white cells distributed in that from the blood. And we add a little bit of salt, table salt. That causes the cells to be stressed. And after a while, they give us a strong signal. Healthy cells do not do that from healthy people. But the device only measures one sample and one control. That's very slow. And there's a lot of things we can't do with that. So uh, we have developed, or in the process of developing, uh, a device that will measure uh, a, a large number of things. And this device will be, could be used for screening for new drugs. And that has been designed and it has been sent to a Chinese lab for fabrication and an American lab. But both of those labs have been shut down by the pandemic. We expect them to open very soon or maybe they have already opened and maybe we'll get the device very soon. And, and along the lines of treatment, uh, we have done a little pilot study uh, using a drug called Abilify. Uh, it's a drug that's used for schizophrenia, but it, we're using it at a very low dose, one f uh, 15 times lower than is used in schizophrenia. Uh, the, the pilot studies look very interesting. It looks like a large number of patients, like about 80%, show some improvement, some dramatically and some just a little. And um, uh, we are now going to launch a real double blind study because we have to do that to, to really establish that it's helping the patients. And we're in the process of setting that up and looking for the funding for that project. We will be looking for other treatments and uh, 
we have a number of things in the works that may that may prove to be useful. That's where the nano needle comes in. And we'll continue to do that uh, to look for those and also things that may be causing the patient's difficulty and, and learn for, uh, ways that maybe to eliminate those. We're also looking for a cure. We have a number of ideas, but the basic idea for a cure is that we think that the cause of this disease is coming from a metabolic trap of some kind. And uh, we have one metabolic trap that is uh, from tryptophan being converted to canurinine, and we're interested in that trap because uh, canurinine uh, controls the immune system and it also controls autoimmunity. Uh, but it's very difficult to test that. There aren't very many cells that have this pathway on, uh, and, it's, uh, and there's only a small amount of tryptophan uh, in these cells. So what we have now done is that we're trying to do all this uh, preliminary work in culture, uh, taking uh, human cells and converting them to monocytes or dendritic cells, which have the pathway on. That way we can get a lot more cells and we'll be able to test this more easily. Um, we also are planning to put these, the genes, uh, human genes into yeast, because it's much faster to do yeast experiments than human experiments. And we will look to see if we can trap the yeast cells. Uh, if we can, we'll look at the same conditions in our human population cells. And that will also allow us to screen for a drug that can get out of the trap. There are other traps that we are thinking that might be present, and we're going to be exploring those in the near future. Um, these involve uh, some of the metabolism uh, uh, alterations. And also from these metabolic alterations, we may come up with a new uh, molecular diagnostic as well. And so I'm hoping that those things will work. I uh, hope we are now back in the lab, uh, and I hope we can make much faster progress now that we can really begin a lot more laboratory experimentation. Thank you very much.